Okay, let's talk about scope. So scope, the easiest way to understand it is rooms. Rooms inside a house. If you're in someone's room and you're talking to them, probably no one else outside of that room can hear the conversation, right? So the default is the default variable would be in that room. In this case, we will make this room right here yellow, right? And we'll make green this global scope, okay? And so what happens is if yellow could access the green, which is that global scope, but green would not be able to access the yellow, okay? It, they're outside of the room, right? So let's run this. Okay, again, let's look at it again. So yellow is this room, right? And then green would be here. And look, we're calling upon my func, my func. So we're calling my func and we're running three commands, okay? This command, this command, and this command. When you are calling the global full, the global foo, you're calling that green function, right? That one that's outside of your room. When you call local, that's the yellow. Local, in the room. In the room. Okay, so that was called, right? My funk was called, and that is this stuff. So when it was called, we have green called, and then the local room ones were called. Okay, now what happens here? The next two commands here is local foo and foo. Local, like I said, is within the room. Imagine this is like the living room, right? It's not in that room, but it's, you know, outside of the room. And this is local to them, right? So this is still, sorry, this is still the green stuff, okay? Does that make sense? So anything within the room stays within the room. Now, I don't want to complicate things, but I do want to add some something else into here that wasn't really mentioned, but makes sense. You ever see uh, Inception, right? Show you something cool. Take this iframe, put it in here. You specify hashtag pound HTML, and you run it. You can embed frames in the Jupyter Notebooks. So Inception means a dream within a dream, right? Right? So think about this. We're going to go four levels deep. You remember you, you have to go four levels deep in Inception? So we're going to go four levels deep. Function, dream one. Okay, we're doing that, that, that's the first dream. Then we're going to go dream two. Okay, function, dream two. Function, dream three. Function, dream four. Okay, we're gonna we're going four dreams deep. We're gonna say Bob' favorite color is blue. We're gonna say Sally is in dream three. Favorite color is red. We're gonna say uh, Sam' favorite color is green. The last one, we're going to say um, Henry, favorite color is uh, yellow. Okay, let me actually move this down. Okay, so let's run this. Now, I did not call dream one yet, right? So let me call dream one. I'm calling the dream one function, right? And then here, we're going to call in dream one, we're going to call dream two. We've got to call these functions. We've got, we've got to go into each dream, right? Each function to finally make it to dream four. Okay. Here's the, here's the thing. Let me see. Uh, all right. We called it all. Okay. We called it all. 
here's the thing. So I'm going to do the colors. Uh, let's see here. Blue is this. Red is this. Green is this. And yellow is this. Each one. If you're in Dream 4, you have access to everything upstream. If you're in Dream Red, if you're in Dream 3, that's red, that red, you have access to everything up. Right? That we're going four levels down. But what I'm saying is, if you build any variables in one function, and then you build a function within a function, you can use those variables as well in those other functions, is what I'm saying. Okay? So Bob has access to all these other variables upstream, is what I'm saying. And I'm going to show you that's possible. So I'm going to restart the kernel to clear any variables, and we're going to run it. All right, let's see what happens. OK, so we ran it. Let me see what we have. Bob, nothing. Hmm. Hmm, let's run it one more time. Hmm. Right host. Oh, you know why? Because I'm calling it from outside. Remember, outside doesn't have access to the inside, right? So right host, Bob. There we go. Blue. Does Bob, do we have access to Sally? Let's see. Yes. Do we have access to Sam? Yes. Do we have access to Henry? Yes. So remember, when you go functions deep, like you don't, I don't really think you should go that deep, but just know that you ever build a function and then you have like an inner function within that, you can access the upper levels. Does that make sense? I know it went kind of deep, but I'm just, I'm just trying to help you understand that not only do you have access to the global, which is kind of what I had here, but you also have access to these other functions as well.